good evening, everyone. Wherever you are, whenever you are, or good morning, or good afternoon. Or assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I wish that you are enjoying the spirit of your life in wherever you are. And I wish that you are enjoying health and prosperity during this difficult time of COVID. Today we'll be discussing the seventh episode of Fadfada, which today is talking about steps of building societies and steps of destroying societies. We discussed this issue uh, last Tuesday in Arabic, and today we'll be discussing it in English. And I thank uh, my colleague uh, Aya, who prepared the PowerPoint presentation. Then I thank all my colleagues who started the idea of having this, uh, this uh, episodes of problem facing uh, charitable sector or social sector. Underneath the title, there's a link. And this link, if you want to go to the Zoom, you can see the presentation. You see, I bought in the link uh, the, the Zoom for the presentation. I have written this post uh, in 2013. The post which called, uh, uh, I have five times six equal 30 days. And this is the post which has been written eight years ago. Steps of building societies are networking, communication, listening, understanding, arguing, agreeing, sorry, arguing, not arguing, accepting other opinions, complementarity, coalition, partnership, then unity based on belief, trust, spending with humility and altruism. These are the steps which I wrote eight years ago on the Facebook. Steps of destroying societies are mockery, insult, marginalization, isolation, polarization, exclusion, abusing, drainage of resources, which lead to argument, tension, confrontation, offense, conflict, division, and loss based on arrogance, egoism, suspicion, narrow-mindedness, and belief, actually. This is what I wrote eight years ago, what I wrote yeah, and spontaneously eight years ago. One of the most important thing is egoism. When you, the ego or ego controls your life. Then I revisited it uh, last week and I rewrote them again, again and again in different way. A step, I divided into two parts. The steps of building sites are divided into two parts. First part is individual behavior and manners, which are six points. My manner is made out of six points, belief, humility, altruism, giving and unselfishness, respect, appreciation, and trust. These six points have to be inside any one of us who is trying to build a society or to work in community. Believe, believe in what? Believe in yourself, believe in your community, believe in your God, believe in your religion, believe in your culture, the values and everything. Believe in your mission, your vision, all these sorts of things. Humility, you cannot build society unless you show humility to other people, unless you become humble to everybody and anybody. And altruism means that actually you are doing not for your own benefit, for the benefit of the community, for the benefit of the society, for the benefit of the country, for the benefit of the sector, not for yourself. You have the charitable way of giving and unselfishness. Whenever you need to give, you give. Don't show selfishness, it's unselfishness. And the sixth point of the manner of individual is the respect and recognition. We have to respect every and each member of our community, regardless of faith, uh, faith race, a background, history, culture, whatever you call it. And the last and not least, the trust. 
trust in yourself, in your Lord, in your community, in your colleague, in your partners, organization. This is the, the, the I said two parts, individual manners in, should be inside myself as a community worker. Belief, humility, altruism, giving and unselfishness, respect uh, and, and appreciation, and the last and not least, the trust. The second part is institutional building. And we have to, the institution itself or the organization itself has to contribute to building the society. What does it mean? It means that building an institution is the only way through which we can build societies, nations, and states. Nowadays, building institution is the only way through which we can build societies, nations, and states. We are not living in the middle centuries of Hercules or uh, the Superman or bionic woman who can do everything. No, it has to be an institution. It has to be an organized institution. Please hold on building institution with all your might. And building institution will be based on 12, 12 points, 12 points, 12 points. Number one, believe again. Wherever you go, you have to believe in what you do. You have to have faith in what you do. Belief. The belief of the institution and the belief of the individual in what you do. Networking. We have to network with everybody. We are a society made out of thousands or hundreds of thousands of millions of people. We have to connect and network. Network. Network with everyone. Not to leave anyone behind. Then we have to acquaintance. To be acquainted with other people. To know one another. To understand one another. يا أيها الذين إن يا أيها الذين إن خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل تعرف all mankind. We have created you out of a male and female individuals. Then we made you tribes and nations to know one another, to be acquainted to one another. Then to listen and understand one another on the individual level and on the listen the art of listening is very difficult most of us do not have the ability to listen and the art of the do not understand the art of listening then when you have all this you start to communicate properly efficiently through your organization with others yeah, what we call it meaningful communication. Once you understand and listen and know who are those people, you have this meaningful, meaningful communication. Then both of you, as two organizations, three organizations, five or ten, you have to agree on what you can do together. You have to agree on what you can do together. Okay? Then, when you agree, you have some requirement for yourself and your partners have other requirements. You have to understand and to give the concession. You don't go to any partnership and saying, this is what I want from you. But the other people will say, this is what also you want. So what you want and don't want, there should be some sort of concession between you and them. This is the second or seventh point giving concession, then you have to complement what other people are doing. Suppose that, suppose what? Suppose that actually in one village, six organizations are working, but in the next village, nobody else is working. So if somebody is like to work in water project, or water sector, or sanitation sector, or orphans, or women protection, or agriculture, or training, or, or, or so the other people has to do something else. So at least we should, once we communicate and give concession to complement one another, actually in the, in the way that we can serve the community that we claim that we are serving them. After that, building partnership, then coalition. Building partnership could be based on a project or a program, but coalition could be a longer term, longer term between you and then, then building social bonding. Social bonding is extremely difficult to make unless 
unless we understand the fabric or the social fabric of our sons, of our sons. Let me mention them again to you, the institutional building, belief, networking, acquaintance, acquaintance, listening to individuals and institution, understanding, meaningful, meaningful communication, agreeing, giving concession, complementarity, building partnership, building coalition, then building society, societal bonding. This will take us to what we are going to talk about at now in this slide. This institutional journey of building societies will be impacted by what? By my belief, by the belief and the effectiveness, my belief as an individual in building my society, by the belief and the effectiveness of those individuals who will be building their own societies. So if we strongly believe in building our society, will impact our society. This will make us discussing six pillars in saying the character of each individual of us, you and me, whether male or female. What are the six pillars or six characters or six uh, corners in my uh, characters? Number one, what's my education qualification? What did I learn? What's the level of my awareness? and realization. This three has to go hand in hand. It's not enough that you get a PhD degree. It's not enough that you get a master degree or MBA degree, not enough for me. You have to combine your academic degree with awareness and with realization of what's happening in the society. Uh, uh, an academic degree without awareness and realization is waste of time, is waste of time. So, Educational qualification, awareness, and realization level. Number two, in building the character of the individual, the six or six point, six point building the character is my family. The family background. Did the, do I do I have a family or not? Was my family is fragmented or not? Was my family is strong and holding together or not? Was the family a family of value or not? And so on. Number three, did I have experience in the voluntary activities, joining other organizations, social and humanitarian, and whatever you call it? What kind of experience that I have to enable me to become a society builder? This number three. Number uh, four, my values, my manners, my history, my transparency. Without values, I don't want you. We don't want anyone to come and build a society if they don't have values. No, values, what's the manner of the people who are building societies? They have to behave themselves because they are icons for each and every one of the people in the society. Their manners, values, history, and level of transparency. Number five, the relationship with societies, culture, values, and different faiths. I am living in a multi-racial, multi-cultural, multi-faith society. Uh, am I connected and understanding the other component of my society or not? If I am not, I cannot build. If I am, I can build. You have to be connecting yourself to other societies, regardless of the faith and the culture and the background. Last and not least, does the other societies or do the other society accept me or not? I might not be accepted by other societies inside my country. In this case, they don't want me to become a leader. So educational, qualification, awareness, and realization levels, background of the family, structure, voluntary activity and social contribution, manners, values, history of the individuals, relationship with other society, culture, values, and different faith, the last is how other societies perceive me. These are the society builders, okay? Or these are the people who can build the society, they have to have these characters, an individual and an institutional uh, level. Now talk about the steps of destroying societies. There's on one hand, people are building. On the other hand, people are destroying. Primarily, the destruction of any society or any nation would be built on what? Individual's behavior. Me as a bad guy. Me as a bad apple. 
me as a black sheep. Because such individuals will play the major and the crucial role of destroying different institutions holding societies together. And this destruction will be followed by history effacement, removing, deleting history. Obliteration of history, changing history, changing the course of history, and eventually this will lead to the destruction of the state itself. But the individual who will start, like myself, destroying the institution or holding the societies or the nation together. The central point of these individuals, like myself as a bad guy, are the individual behaviors will be around will be built around four psychological path or four psychopath psychological path first psychological path inside myself is my arrogance selfishness contempt sneering suspicion and my weak belief or lack of belief if I have this, my first psychological path as an individual, as an individual, I have this, and this will enable me to start destroying my own institution and my own site. Number two, the second psychological path is made out of booing. See, you boo everything. You, do, you condemn everyone. You mock every individual. Then this will take you to polarization and the elimination of other people of different opinion. So we move from arrogance, selfishness, contempt, sneering, suspicion, weak belief into booing, condemnation, mockery, polarization, and elimination. This is the second psychological path. The third psychological path will be made out of Arguing, start to argue with others, arguing, litigations, dis creating disputes, clashes, and conflicts with other people. It goes from this to arguing, litigations, disputes, clashes, conflicts. The fourth psychological path will be exclusion, keep them away, exploitation, keep them away, attrition. Losses, damages of societies and institutions. And this, then destruction will happen. And the section will be built on personal, political, sectarian interest, not community interest. And this eventually will lead to destruction of society and then destruction of nation. I will repeat them again. First, psychological possible movement out of arrogance, selfishness, contempt, sneering, suspicion, weak or lack of, uh, of belief. Second, psychological path would be booing, condemnation, mockery, polarization, elimination. Third, psychological path would be arguing, litigation, disputes, clashes, conflicts. Fourth, psychological path would be exclusion, exploitation, attrition, and drench, then losses and damage, and this eventually will be leading to destruction of society and destruction of nations. This demolition or destruction process or march will be impacted by whom? By the pillars structuring, by, by the pillar structuring or building the character of individuals. Inside me, there's, as, as, as in the previous one, there were six pillars or six corners to build his, the character of, of, of society builders. Now we have nine pillars or, or, or corners building the character of the one who is going to destroy the society. Who are they? First of all, the family situation. If the family gave you a hard time when you, at your, in, during your childhood. Second is the level of social awareness. If those people are not aware, do not realize what's happening around them. Uh, third, third one, who is their icons and role models? The people that they worship because they consider them their icons. 
Number four, their educational level, which sometimes does not correspond or match uh, what the society needs. They might be highly technical, but not aware of what's happening in the society. Number five, the many of their theoretical, most of the discussion, most of the discussion is theoretical. They are very good in convincing anybody on television or social media in their talks, but all their talks is theoretical, cannot be applicable. Number six, the loss, the less or lack of social engagement. When you look at their history, you find that they did not, they could not, they failed to engage with other societies. They failed to do voluntary activities, social interaction. Number seven, they have a very wide network, which is not very well known to anybody. That's why you find that such people are all the time on the media. People are promoting them, suggesting them from the background without anybody. Who are these freaks who are speaking on the television or radio or whatever it is? Number eight, they always go with the flow. They cannot create the flow. They always change their colors and their discourse according to the political discourse or the religious discourse. Last and not least, the weakness of their financial integrity. So nine pillars or nine corners make their own characters, family values, and situation, level of social awareness, their level of and realization, uh, who are their role models, their education level as connected or not to the community. Uh, they are theoretical in the discussion, uh, less or lack of social engagement, uh, wide network, which not very well known to everybody, uh, always go with the flow, and the last is weaknesses of their financial integrity. These nine pillars inside the character of those individuals who are going to destroy societies. This is my message to you young people today. I have discussed with you the steps of building societies and the steps of their strong societies, nations and the states. Do you know what is the common or the greatest, the greatest and the common factor, most common factor or denominator? It is the individual. It is the individual. It is the individual. The individual who is a citizen, the mother, the father, Male and female, teachers, laborers, tradespeople, students, soldiers, police persons, journalists, media presenters, religious persons, thinkers, politicians, artists, authors, composers, sports and athletes, and others. The individual himself or herself is the cornerstone of building or destroying societies. The young and the old, the lay person or the educated ones, the scientist or the illiterate, the loyal citizen or the deviant, the believers or the traitors and others. All those people who will be elements of destruction or elements of uh, construction. It's you. It is, a, it, is, it is a citizen. It is the individual citizen, young people, who will be able to do that. The individual citizen, the individual should be made, should be held responsible for building or destroying his own or her own society. It's you, young people. It's you, young people. It's you, young people, who are the holders of solution, visions, strategic objectives. It's you, young people, who are the enablers who can start the process of reform and bring communities to safety. It's you young people who can cultivate the different fields and farms, the different fields and farms that can bear social fruits needed for generations to come. It's you young people who can cultivate the different fields and farms that can bear social fruits needed for generations to come. It's you young people 
who can raise the public social awareness so they can rewrite the proper history of your own country. It's you young people who will be responsible for all of this. It's you young people who can paraphrase a new social philosophy to lead the community's thought and enabling it to drive the future culture of nations and generations to come. It's you young people who will become the prospective leaders leading these societies to achieve the citizens' wish list. We, each one of us has a wish list. And protect national and natural resources. It's you young people who are going to carry out the burden of a responsibility that skies, mountains, and earth refuse to carry it, but the ignorant human being like myself accepted to carry it. It's you young people. I'll hold you responsible for this. I reviewed with you, young people, a very clear image for two teams, a building constructive team protecting present social gains to build what? To build with it the future prospects for future generations and letting the societies be ahead of other societies. The methodology of building new societies will not happen, will not happen, will not happen unless we build new civil institution inside a wider and protected civil liberty space. Guaranteeing in this civil liberty space the freedom of every citizen. Say it again, the methodology of building new civil societies will not happen unless we build new civil institution inside a wider and the protected civil liberty space, guaranteeing the freedom of every citizen. The citizen has to guarantee his or her protection. There are fixed constant to do that, young people. Number one, by doing what? Raising public awareness. Number two, building independent modern civil society organization. Number three, protecting and maintaining the, the adequate civil liberty space. This civil liberty space has to be protected. You cannot build civilization or renaissance unless you have civil liberty space protected to enable each citizen, each individual to do what? To become a pioneer. Inshallah. Protecting and maintaining adequate civil liberty space for everyone. Number four, protecting the independence of what? Of the state institution and keeping them at arm's length from what? From the encroachment of these totalitarian regimes. Totalitarian regimes they want to take over, especially if there's military and security. Number five, is it number five? Number five, confirming citizenship, citizens legitimacy of what? Of ownership, the owner of the state, the owner of the nation, the owner of the society, the owner of the wealth of the country is the citizen, is the citizen, is the citizen herself or himself. Confirming citizens' legitimacy of ownership of the nation and the state to the official, such official, they think that they are the lords and the god and the queen and, and no, 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 no. Such officials as who is presidents, prime ministers, ministers, kings, queens, sheikhs, religious leaders, politicians, and others sheikhs and others, those officials, I mentioned them and others, are considered to be what? Civil servants. All these names and others are civil servants, paid by the taxpayer's money, 
paid by the citizen tax taxation. To do what? To serve the people and protect the interest of their own country. They are not the owners. The ownership of the state and the country and the nation and everything is belong, belong to the citizen himself or herself. They are hired, all these are hired by the public to serve the public as the charitable institution employees are hired uh, by the poor to serve the poor. Nothing different, nothing different. Please, young people, and listen to me. Listen to me, and I'm pointing my fingers to each and every one of you. I beg you to learn the art of what? The art and the profession of what? Of building civil society organization. Nowadays, we don't have, as we are not living in as the era of the bionic woman or the Superman or the Spider-Man or the Batman, or the Hercules, or no, no, no. It's an institution who would be able to build societies, protect societies, build states, and protect states. Please, young people, you have to believe, listen to this, that the country, society, and the state belong to all citizens. Nothing to do with socialism, nothing to do with, 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 with communism. It is our belief, the real owner of the society and the state and the nation is the citizen, the individual, him or herself, whether educated or not educated, poor or rich, believers or non-believers. Please, young people, you have to believe. I, I mentioned this that the country, the state, the society belongs to all citizens. And look at the red uh, or the, this statement, networking, acquaintance, acquaintance, understanding, agreeing or complementarity or, or, or compatibility, making concession, complementarity, building coalition and partnership between organization are constant pillars of society's building. You can't build society because you are a king or because you are a billionaire or because you are have authority. No, you have to go through a process which is difficult, time-consuming process of networking, acquaintance, uh, understanding, agreeing, compatibility, uh, concessions, uh, complementarity, building coalition, partnership, and others between organizations. Young people, I have mentioned before to you the means, methods, or steps of destroying societies. To make you aware of them, please don't touch them. Be careful and be aware of them. These civilizations that you can see, whether it's coming from Egypt, from Iraq, from Greece, is it right? From Roma, from, from uh, the Roman or the Greek civilization, the Chinese civilization, or the Arab civilization, the Andalusian, whatever, all of this, okay, were built in thousands of years. By whom? By faithful and dedicated citizens like you. This could be destroyed, demolished, and disappeared by the action of those ignorant traitors and thieves in years and decades. The one which has been built in thousands of years could be destroyed in years and decades. Be careful, young people, of destroying what your great ancestors built. Because of what? Listen to this. Listen to this. Because of leaders' fancy. Leaders' fancy idea. Leaders freak or whim. And because of them, those people benefiting a certain group, or because of the vision of those dishonest and disloyal leadership. It's a problem with the leadership. 
when they have this whim and freak ideas, don't follow it. Don't follow it. Don't follow it. Please, young people, behave as the true builders and leave those miserable, disrespectful groups to play the society's records. They wreck the society. Even if it takes you a long time to stop them. In another way, it will take you a long time to stop those people who are wrecking your own societies or destroying your own society or destroying your own country and changing the history. It's not going to be done overnight. Time limits of nations and people are not measured by days, months, or years, but measured by decades and generations. When I discussed these two groups, the destroyers and the constructive people and the constructors, inside building societies as 18 steps, six are the moral behavior and 12 are institutional. Also inside this group, the six steps are making the character of individual behavior himself. I said in family, education, awareness, and all these sort of things. Okay. And there are six pillars to build up different constant corners of the characters of the people who are working uh, to build the society, as you can go back to them. But for those people who are destroying the society, there are 19 characteristics inside four psychological paths. But the corners of these complicated characters are nine. Please, young people, be aware that the ones amongst you who want to build society, they have to struggle for building the foundation of this society in decades and years. But those who want to destroy nations will destroy their institution in months and years. The process of destruction is faster and quicker than the process of laying the foundation for building societies and nations. This was what happened by Umar anhu, who started to build this institution, we call it, used to call it the one more than 1400 years ago. And this also at the same time happened when the anti-humanity, anti-civilizations, anti-modernity, anti-ancient, anti-science and technology, anti-literacy, anti-knowledge, barbaric, savage, Mughal, and the leaders of the Inquisition, they burned down encyclopedias of modern knowledge, science and technology, arts, culture, philosophy, intellectual thinking, and the principles, not in years and decades, but in weeks and months. So let me say it again, because this is very important. What has been built in years and years and thousands of years the anti-humanity, anti-civilization, anti-modernity, anti-science and technology, anti-literacy, and knowledge, barbaric Mughal, remember what have Mughal have done to Baghdad, and those people who are leader of the Inquisition in Europe and in Andalusia, they burn it down, what? Encyclopedias of modern knowledge, science and technology, arts, culture, philosophy, intellectual thinking, principles, uh, 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 thinking and principles, not in years, but in months and in week and months. There's a huge contrasting differences between the craftsmen so like yourself, genius builders like yourself, who are struggling hard with their wealth, time, effort, knowledge, and souls to build societies. 
They are, these are you. And those mob, evil mob, trash defectors who are destroying out of ignorance and evil behavior nations where civilizations were created among us, their territories. Let me say again, there's a huge contrasting difference between these craftsmen. You are the craftsmen. You are the genius builders who are struggling hard with your wealth, time, effort, knowledge, and souls to build societies. And those evil mob, trash defectors, who are destroying out of ignorance and evil behavior nations, which is happening nowadays. And you see it, we see it, we see it clearly with our eyes. Where civilizations were created amongst the territories. They hate history. They hate civilization. They hate pioneering. They hate innovation. They hate. Be rest assured, young people, that science, knowledge, and social belief will never grow inside their hearts and minds until the plantation grow in the salty land in the middle of the desert. And this is a miracle. The camel goes into the hole of the needle. The creations ascend to the skies. The angels walk between roads or we see Allah face to face. Be rest assured, young people, that those individual science, knowledge, and social belief will never grow inside their hearts and mind until plantation grew in the salty or the sabha, salty lands in the middle of the desert in no man's land. And then the camel goes into the hole of the needle. The creations ascend to the skies. The angels walk between roads. Or we see Allah, God, face to face. I trust you. And I'm full of respect and love to all of you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.